I hope everybody's having a great Friday morning. Yes, today is Friday. Uh, that being said, before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little bell to get notified whenever I post a video. Share, share, share everywhere. And I'm off to work. Just working half a day because... I have to go to the doctor and the doctor that I'm going to is the stomach doctor they actually called me on Tuesday for me to go get a follow-up uh, for my blood work and my ultrasound I told them that I hadn't even got the that scope done yet and the lady is like oh that's fine you know you, it's nothing to do with that. It, and I was like, so is there something wrong? Is there a problem? Uh, like, I was freaking out. I was like, you could tell me. You could tell me if there's something wrong. And she's like, well, we can't talk about it over the phone. <clears throat> but you could just make a, an appointment and... Uh, We'll go from there. You know, you come see the doctor and he'll talk to you then. And I'm like, oh crap. So I told the lady, I was like, well, I'll call you back to see whenever I can go. I've never had a uh, ice caramel macchiato. And today I am going to try one. I'm like freaking out. I'm like, ah, I'm going to try a macchiato. What? I see a lot of people drinking them and they're like, oh, it's so good. And raving about how good it is and everything and I'm like I gotta try it I gotta try it so anyways what I was saying about the doctor so I got I called him yesterday I got I called him they weren't there in the morning so the lady's like I, before she got into it you know talking about my appointment I was like wait a minute I said it does, does this uh the follow-up that I'm going to have, is it, like, important? Is it something that, like, serious? Um, that I need to see them right now? Or can it wait? And um, she was like, hang on just a second. And she said she was going to go look inside uh, my, um, my file and see. So when she went in the file and she was like, it says in here that you need to get a follow-up for your your work the blood work you did in your ultrasound so I was like oh my god you know so maybe that is important you know something going on so so anyways what I was saying I keep getting interrupted um, she looked at my file and uh, it had a note in there saying that I did have to have a follow-up and um that i needed to go in so i was like okay so do you think you can get me in tomorrow that means today friday and she's like uh well they're out of town right now because they go to a, like a different town two different towns and they go work over there so she was like well i'll call you back uh between one and two and let you know and I was like, okay, that's fine. And she goes, I will call you back. Either way, I'll call you back. If it's a no or if it's a yes, I'll call you back. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I mean, no problem. So, um, she calls me back. And I'm like thinking to myself, okay, she's going to tell me that I'm, I can't get in or... I can't get the appointment or something, you know. I'm thinking to myself that I'm thinking the worst. And she gets on the phone when she's calling. I get on the phone with her, and she's on the phone, and we're like, "So what happened?" And she's like, "Oh well, the doctor said that you have to have the appointment, so they're gonna squeeze you in at three. And I'm like, "They're gonna oh, they're gonna see me." I went like that, and she's like, "Yeah, they're gonna go ahead and see you." So, I was like, yes, thank God, you know, because I don't know if, if what's going on. I don't know if the, <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
I don't know if it's something bad. I don't know if it's something good. I don't know. It's, I have to wait to see. You know, so I'm curious. My husband's like, <laughs> if it was something important, they would have made you go in that day. And I'm like, yeah, they wanted me to go in that day, but I didn't have no money to go to the doctor. You need money to go see the doctor. And he goes, well, if it was that important, they would have told you, you have to come in. No ands, if buts about it. And I was like, that's why they called me. Like, my husband didn't understand that the reason why they called me was to tell me that I needed to go in for a follow-up for my blood work. So, <clears throat> I got, I told him, I was like, well, I got the appointment. It's at 3 o'clock tomorrow. And he's like, I'm sorry, I keep on doing that. I'll tell you about my teeth in a minute. Um, so anyways, I told him that my appointment was tomorrow at 3. And he's like, okay. He goes, at least we're going to go. We're going to see what's going on, what's wrong with you. Um, I said, I hope it's not nothing bad. And he's like, he keeps on telling me, well, if it was bad, they would have got you in a long time ago. I was like, like, getting frustrated because I'm thinking to myself, okay, I didn't have money to go to the doctor when they called on Tuesday, you know, so I couldn't go in right then and there. But they wanted to see me. Like, I keep on trying to tell him that, but he don't understand that. So... Um, I got the appointment. I'm going to go today. Go see what's going on. Hopefully, it's not nothing bad. And everything's fine. Because I'm just, I get worried about things like this. And I don't know what to do. And it just... I don't know. It just scares me. It just scares me because you never know what they're going to tell you. You don't, you never know what they're going to say. Oh, well, you got this, you got this, and you got this. Or they can say, oh, well, there's nothing wrong with you. Everything's a-okay. You're fine. You're good to go. You don't have to worry about coming to see me no more. Which, he wouldn't say that because I haven't done the other test yet. Um, you have to have money to do things and I you know I don't, I'm not a rich person so things like that it has to be taken care of you know whenever I can get money but anyways um, I just I need to figure out how I can get that test done and then I can go from there but today Hopefully, it's a good day, and hopefully, it's nothing bad. Hopefully, everything's fine. Hopefully, everything goes good. But, I'll take y'all with me, let y'all know what's going on. Um, we'll just cross our fingers. Anyways, that being said, I did get this drink from McDonald's. It is a iced, a medium iced caramel macchiato. I've never tried this and look all the caramels on the bottom and there's some like drizzled on the sides so this is the first time I'm gonna try this ah! I just spilled it oh no lucky I have napkins with receipts everywhere I have like receipts everywhere in my car I have a napkin I mean they closed it right it's just like I guess when they closed it, it kind of spilled on their side anyways let me try this thing all you can taste is the caramel this 
besides at Starbucks, actually it tastes pretty good. I like the way it tastes. You can taste all the caramel. Um, I give that a five. That's good. If you go to Starbucks to get one of them, a medium like that, it probably would have cost you like seven bucks. Yeah. Seven bucks. That is good. I like the way that tastes. That is one hell of a drink. I mean, if y'all haven't tried one from McDonald's, go try one. That thing is so good. Like, I shouldn't hold it like this because the top might fall off, but hey. That is pretty good. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I think I, my new favorite drink that <sighs> okay guys let me tell you about my teeth uh, actually just the top ones the top teeth are getting on my nerves I literally wanted to cry this morning I literally wanted to cry because my teeth are not working for me I do not know what's wrong with them it's like they didn't want to stick they didn't want to stay in my mouth. They didn't want, they weren't working for me. They weren't working for me at all. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know why they don't want to stay in my mouth. It's like, I put them in. Actually, I put the bottom ones in first. <coughs> and the bottom ones went in fine perfect you know no problem top ones I put them in I put the same amount that I always put a little less because it's a new reline you know I don't need as much so I put a little less than what I normally do and plus it might ooze out because it's a new reline so I did that I uh, wiped my mouth out because um, just to make sure I didn't have anything in there or I always wipe my mouth out just in case you know it's not dry but it's still wet you know in between so I did that and the damn thing didn't want to stay in it felt crooked, it felt lopsided, it felt uncomfortable. I tried it, like every morning I have my coffee and I have a donut. And actually I don't even eat the whole donut. I eat like maybe less than half of it. And um, I took a bite of it with this side this side felt like it wanted to pop off so I moved the food to this side so you know I'm chewing with this side and in the middle I can feel like it wanted to pop off like it wanted to come out and I'm like standing there doing my hair and I'm like what the freak and I'm like Ugh. you know I'm standing there and I'm just like mm, why you know just like, why doesn't it want to stay in? What the freak is going on? Why are my teeth acting like this? Why are they not sticky? Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with my teeth. Like, I've done my reline so many times. And. It's like, every time I do it, they're fine. They're perfect. You know, they go in, they line up. Everything is just great. Except for this time. I don't know if it's because I had the bottom teeth 
and the way my reline uh, before I took out this uh, before I put these relines in the reline that I had in lined up with my denture everything was fine I was able to eat I had no problems now I have problems let me know in the comments just a question I know what I do but I want to know what y'all do when y'all have your dentures and y'all have a soft reline do y'all soak them every night or do y'all let them sit out and dry let me know in the comments because I know the dentist told me when I did the top denture um, I alternate my dentures my top one but the dentist told me after I got the reline from him he's like you're not supposed to soak it every night but you clean it once a week and soak it overnight you could do a cleaner you know you can do uh, I know they have like a overnight whitening uh, thing that you can soak them in and, you're, and he told me I'm supposed to do that once a week but not to soak them every night So, that being said, you know, I followed his instructions. You know, I alternate. I don't keep them dry every night. I don't keep them wet every night. Um, sometimes, you know, I feel like, okay, well, let me go ahead and just soak them tonight. And tomorrow night, I'll leave them out. Or leave them out and then soak them. Let me know what your thoughts about that is. Um, because I'm kind of questioning my routine now because of the way my denture is acting right now. And I feel like I need some more reline on this side. Just this side because if when I bite down like that I can feel this side go down a little like there's not enough reline on this side to that's holding it and the first night the reline was fine the reline was perfect first night it stayed in I could talk with it I didn't have no problems last night I tried talking to my husband with them and the damn things didn't even want to stay in they kept on falling out and I could feel bubbles going through it I was just frustrated I was so frustrated this morning I literally wanted to cry
dentist that did the top one never told me that. He told me, you know, I'm thinking to myself, he told me not to soak them only once, once a week. Never told me that my denture would crack. That was before I got the reline from him. But I only had, um, I think I was without a, a reline for like maybe a, maybe a couple of weeks. So it wasn't that long. But since the bottom one, I've been went out without a reline. Uh, this, excuse me, this whole thing. Sorry guys, I'm human. It's gonna happen. Sorry. Excuse me. Anyways, uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm frustrated with my denture so bad. I wish I had implants for either the bottom or the top. I would rather have the top done and the bottom. No, I take that back. I'd rather have the bottom done and just have the denture in the top. I'd rather have both of them done. But if I had a choice, I'd rather have the the bottom done because the bottom hurts so much right here. And it's not even funny that I would rather have it have the bottom done. It's just crazy. It's just so crazy. You know, and you know, I was able to eat with my denture, and now I can't even eat with my denture. Maybe if I let it sit out overnight one night, well, not sit out, you know, so stuff can get on it, you know, put it in a little what in its little case and don't put water, let it dry up. Maybe I need to let it dry up. I'm trying to think of what I did last time and I don't remember. I don't remember what I did. I think I let it dry up. I think. I think that's what I did. But you know what? I think I'm going to let it sit out tonight and then in the morning see how it feels whenever I put it on. I think that's what I need to do. <laughs> Because it needs to get hard. Well, not hard. Because they're soft. But, like, dry up a little. I think that's what I need to do. Just so it can fit right. But, once I do that, I'm going to have to do the reline again right here. Because it's not sitting in there right. Because it's lopsided right now. Because every time I bite down, I can feel this side go down. I can't... I, I'm just so sad right now because I can't eat nothing. There we go again. Not able to eat. Not able to do anything. It just freaking sucks. It sucks so bad. Oh my god. I, you know, it's just ridiculous. I'm just so frustrated with this shit. So frustrated. I'm just so done. Look at that. Look at that sun. So pretty. Just shining right on me. Just kidding, guys. Look at that sun. So, yeah. I'll let y'all know what I am going to do with my denture tonight. If I'm going to leave it out just for one night so it can at least dry up a little bit. You know, not too much, but just a little bit. But we'll see. Every day that I'm going home, the sun is shining so bright in my eyes. Well, it was bright just now, and I forgot that I had these in here. I'm probably going to have to go get a new pair. Because it has a little dot on it. But check these out, guys. I like the freaking 80s right now. 